What is up, Priest Planet? It is the Tarot Priest back with another Pick a Card reading. And in today's Pick a Card reading, what we're going to be focusing on is what is the connection between you and the person that you're thinking about. At the end of each deck, I'm going to be doing a Lightworker Oracle, which is basically just going to be a message as far as why you guys are connected. Obviously, we meet people for different reasons. We have soulmates, twin flames, karmic cycles, all types of different connections that could possibly be the situation between you and the person you're thinking about. So I just want to leave you guys with a message after each reading, um, just to kind of clarify why exactly you guys are together. Before I get started, just a few announcements. If you guys do want to support me doing these daily readings every month, you can join my Patreon account. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will be going live and some of you are not getting the notifications. So if you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell so that you can receive notifications every time I post a video or go live. Last but not least, if you would like to learn how to read tarot or book a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below. So let's get started. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Remember when you guys are choosing these decks, some of you guys choose one or two. Choose the deck that is really resonating with you and that is pulling on you. A good tip when picking your deck is, you know, seeing the deck that is pulling towards you, not based on color, not based off of, um, you know, symmetry or things like that, but looking at the deck and if you feel like a deck is calling or pulling on you, look away and look back again. And if it's still the same deck, then that's probably the deck you should go with. So let's get started with your guys' reading. So if you chose deck number one, this is your reading. Uh, before I get started, a few things. If you guys do want to book a personal reading, support my Patreon or learn tarot, you can find that in the description box below. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you guys can receive updates when I go live on my channel. All right, so let's see what the connection is between you two. We're going to start off with these love oracle cards. Again, you guys don't have to be looking for a love connection, but these cards are usually good for even if it's like a message or something like that. So if you are thinking about a friend or thinking about a person, this will still resonate. The first card we have is time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Second card is sexual union. Honor the place and one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss and let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives i would say these two are probably along the same lines so right off the bat if you do pick deck number one it can either be a new person or an old person now for some of you i feel like this is probably going to be a new person just because of the sexual union that you guys might have uh, for a few of you guys also, it might be someone that you've been dealing with because we have the time card here. Also allowing each other to have space. So maybe you guys met, if this is new, you guys might have just met and you guys were super passionate about each other. The sex was just crazy and you guys had this really instant connection and this gratification like that was just kind of like pulling you guys together. But they pushed away and you're kind of confused because you're thinking about them and maybe you didn't see them as potentially being like a long time person to be in a committed relationship with, but they're still on your mind for some reason. So this is just saying, give it time. Now, if this is for one of you guys uh, or some of you guys who have been with someone, this basically is telling me that give it time because you guys might need to heal this part of the relationship as far as the sexual union. So if you guys did date and you're inquiring about someone that you broke up with, allowing time and allowing space because the next time you guys will meet, it'll be a crazy sexual union. But whatever the case is, it is gonna be a spark of sexual like connection and chemistry. Let's see what the first three tarot cards are. The world card, eight of cups. Two of Swords, wow. The fact that all three of these came out together. Okay, so first of all, we have the World card. So the World card is the last card in the Major Arcana, which basically symbolizes a completion of your spiritual journey or a completion of something. Now with the World card, this is in reverse, which tells me that it's incomplete. 
and uh, that something, the cycle is not complete and that it is not over. However, somebody did walk away with the Eight of Cups, could have been you, could have been the other person, take it how it resonates, uh, but they basically made a decision to walk away. Now, this feels to me like the same scenario that I gave you guys. You guys met, you either just met, and it was just crazy dynamics. Like the chemistry was just on point. Uh, you guys were really feeling each other. The sexual chemistry was great. Uh, but somehow they walked away. Like, And some of these people, like for, for you guys, some of you guys watching, they didn't even really give an explanation as to why they left. So you might be questioning, like, was it the sexual union? But I feel like they left because they made a decision. They have something else going on. Could be another person. I'm going to clarify with the next tarot deck. But they certainly did walk away, but the cycle is not over. Um, this is also some type of spiritual connection that you guys may have had with as far as the chemistry is concerned. Because we have a major arcana and someone who's walked away. I also feel like this person might have walked away, whether you guys were together or not, because uh, it was too like crazy it was too deep for them to kind of understand like if this is a new person they're they're just like holy crap like what the hell this doesn't even make sense like why do i feel this way and i feel like they ran from the connection as well because it was super deep especially with the sexual union card like eternal soul i just feel like this was a much deeper connection that you guys thought was going to happen now if this is someone you were with and obviously you guys broke up even if you're new someone called it off so the breakup long-term relationship for some of you guys, they made a decision to walk away, but the cycle is not complete. They're fighting themselves in an inner, like this is an inner struggle and an inner battle. And they also need time. They need time to come to their senses as far as what it is that you guys um, are doing together. Now, just because we have the sexual union card, I'm not saying that this is the only reason why you guys are together is because of the sex. I just feel like this is also like the closeness of the soul um not necessarily just like intimacy but yeah they made a decision to walk away the eight of cups is the breakup card walking away looking at it basically okay let's see what we have for the clarity of these cards so the first card out out is the page so the page is usually like a start um it's a childlike energy like a start of something new a start of foundation Though it's not over, I don't feel like it's going to start anytime soon just because, again, this person has a lot going on and there was something they weren't exactly telling you. Uh, don't freak out about what I just said about that. I just feel like they have some other things that they're dealing with. Could be internal as well. So with this card, um, like I said, this is the breakup card, but we have the death card. We have Scorpio energy. You don't have to be a Scorpio. Um, or they don't, but this is Scorpio energy. Basically what this says is it's the breakup card, but they have yet to like actually end it. Um, so as far as this connection is concerned, um, your connection is certainly chemistry, intimacy, passion, connection, um, and on a soul-like level, it's more of a I wouldn't say like a soulmate connection. I just feel like you guys have dynamic chemistry and the potential to be in a long-term relationship. But the, also the problem that I'm getting is just that with this connection, the sexual union was the greatest aspect of it. And you guys need to develop something a little bit more stable and grounded. And I'm not saying that's all that this person brought to the table or that's all that you brought to the table, but I think that the relationship also needs time to develop something more grounded and founded. And we have the King of Pentacles here too, which is like the leader of foundation. And there is no like actual commitment or something that could be stable, but they haven't ended it just yet. I feel like you guys need time to develop more of a level of a surety, like assurance. And I think that's also why this person left or you left because you feel like you guys had this great union, but nothing of a more like spiritually inclined situation, especially with the death card, the two major arcana cards. It's just telling me that 
whoever walked away, they're going, I do feel like they will come back because they've yet to end it because of the connection. You get, you guys just have like deck number one, you guys just have undying chemistry. And um, I don't see anything along the terms of like a twin flame or anything like that, but there is a reason for it. And I'm going to read the, uh, the light worker message just to see what exactly was this connection? What's the purpose of this connection? and uh, what you need to learn from this connection. Because for me, I just feel like there needs to be more stability and more of an actual relationship. And the relationship kind of just didn't start off on a place of communication, spirituality, foundation, talking about these type of things. It was more of passion and chemistry, which obviously, you know, leads to sexual union. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just you guys need more time to develop something that's like more grounded, more grounded and stable. And if you guys have been to a long-term relationship, obviously it's not over. We have three cards that represent like breakup. So I know that you guys have had a breakup with this person and you might be thinking about them wondering why, why do I still think about this person? And that's because the relationship didn't really have a fair chance as far as building something it was founded off of like and i'm not i don't want to say lust but it was founded off of like passion sexual union intimacy physical affection and not so much of trying to build a commitment trying to build a life of individual happiness coming together to create something more stable and so i feel like time to kind of like get to know each other more start to build a foundation all over again so that's kind of what I get for deck number one. Let's see what your message is. Key of light is in reverse. So let's see what your uh, oracle message is regarding the, the connection and the reasoning for this. So 26, key of light. You have the power of the divine in you. You have the ability to free yourself no matter whether it seems that another person, a set of circumstances, or the entire world holds more power than you. Your power of freedom is unconditional. It doesn't require that outer circumstances change in order for you to be free. Though, as you choose freedom, outer circumstances often change radically. For now, to be free, use the key of life. This means staying true to what you know for yourself. Gently and lovingly assert your truth now. Do not cave in to the naysayers or the fear generators. Most especially do not collapse under your own old fears or doubts. Gently and persistently, Cleaving to the light within you will bring you through an apparent cycle, free from any apparent prison and assure you divine destiny fulfilled. All doors shall be open to you. You are being given a gift of unconditional grace. Step back and radiate love from your center. That is your way. You do not have to betray your spirituality to fight. You can fight with love and trust that you can be your way as a spiritual warrior. In every moment you choose love and trust, you are fighting the good fight. You are learning that love is expressed in no as much as in yes. For when you fight against those who want to deny truth, you are standing clear and strong in loving truth. So basically what I'm getting for this, I'm going to read this last part and then I'm going to tell you guys what I feel as far as this connection. This oracle is a message for you to trust in your own ability to triumph right now. You are the key to success. You must believe in yourself. You don't have to force a door to be open in perfect time. According to divine grace, all doors will be open to you. So I feel like this could be a lesson to free yourself from this person. I know you need to free yourself from this person just based off of this. I also feel like standing up for love in general like you know looking past this connection as chemistry and understanding that you deserve something a little bit more stable um again also exercising unconditional love like this person might need time before they're in a more stable mindset to offer some type of commitment to you but this is just a reminder that you are the key of light you have the power to make the decision you have the power to be free you have the power to love and move forward from this connection and allow time and allow space so that you can figure out exactly what it is that you want to do. But this card is just, to me, it's representing some type of power that you have within yourself. And this connection is helping you kind of seek that like, wow, I have this person and we have so much chemistry and it's so great, but is it really truly what I want in the long run? 
and I have the key of light, the key that is going to free myself from a, a situation that may not be more than this union. So you have the power to free yourself from that and open a door to kind of like another life another life in it and in in another partner so yeah i feel like this resonates too with you is like walking away putting an end to it ending the cycle so yeah that's kind of what i get for deck number one don't forget to comment down below if it resonates with you um, i'm interested in seeing how this key of light and these new oracle cards that i'm using is kind of like you know resonating with you guys as far as you guys have a connection but i don't want to leave you guys hanging with a message because obviously everything happens for a reason. You meet everyone for a reason. And if you met this person, it's certainly for a reason. And it is to discover the key of light within you. All right, let's get on to deck number two. If you chose deck number two, this is your reading. Again, if you guys want to sign up for my Patreon and support me monthly or sign up for a personal reading, learn tarot. You can find all that information in the description box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can get notifications when I upload new videos and go live. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on what the connection is. Um, first, we'll do these Love Oracle cards. Now, you guys were the only deck that had four cards fly out, so I just decided to take them. So let's look at the connection. All right, so this uh, reading for you is gonna certainly be a message. All right, let's start with, I feel like this is the outcome. All right, so we have a message for you. So this is the order that I'm feeling like goes right to me. Deck number two. So you have a message and I feel like if you chose deck number two, then there is a reason why you were guided to this video and this deck. So you have a message. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So whoever you're thinking about wants to tell you that they love you and your love fills them as their love fills you with light. So you guys equally feel the same about each other. Now, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So if there's something that you're longing for, some type of outcome, the key right now as far as also a message is acceptance. Once you are able to accept this connection, being in the state of whatever it is, then you, it'll allow you to have inner peace. But in the meantime, as long as you don't accept it, you will be kind of struggling with an inner battle of peace, understanding that it's beyond your control. Sometimes also what I'm getting, like with the universe, God, whatever you guys believe in, higher self or guides, they will pull the connection apart for the purpose of uh, like showing you some type of lesson or something that you may be missing and sometimes it, it is out of our control as to how we broke up and if you're thinking about like wow i could have done this differently or would this never happen or if you're like replaying the past going back over it and over it this is also creating havoc and chaos mentally and so you're lacking inner peace because of that healing i also feel i definitely feel like that that resonates with me so okay this definitely, I always say before I get started, this could be new, a new person or an old person. I do feel like this is probably an older person. If you are choosing this, it could be someone new. But with this, it's telling me like you're questioning how they feel about you. And this card is just saying like, hey, I love you still. And I think of you every moment. But you have to accept the situation and allow things to kind of un unfold. And that's going to require healing. So imagine yourself and your beloved one surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So there is some healing that needs to take place for this connection. And I also feel like this connection was brought to you for the purpose of healing. And without this person, you may have not discovered how much healing you really needed. And I know some people, I tell them this is a lesson, but a lesson doesn't have to be scary. And that's why I feel like with this card, I feel like you have somebody coming in romance cupid's arrow strikes however because of this situation it's kind of holding you back from new romance and so healing understanding that yes you can have peace of mind because they do love you and they think of you just as you think of them but focusing on acceptance is kind of what i'm getting for you guys step number two let's see what the tarot message is yeah okay 
So I just don't, I don't feel like it's a coincidence that the Sun card is here. I feel like you guys, deck number two, it's certainly time to be happy. I feel like you, you guys have been through a lot as far as like the relationship is concerned and feeling like even though you're in, you were in this relationship or you were dealing with this person that you're thinking about, you weren't exactly happy. Like you might have been in denial about how happy you were. Sometimes we replay moments and we're like, wow, I remember this time. I remember this time. But our mind kind of tricks us because we don't remember all of the other things that happened. And with the Four of Cups, you're dwelling, but you're kind of not understanding also that you deserve the Ten of Cups, which is complete fulfillment. And so I think that maybe take some time to also, as you're healing, see both ends of the unhappiness that this relationship brought to you as well. I feel like too, there was some immaturity on both parties as far as the relationship is concerned even how you guys might have ended it could have been in a very immature manner but i just feel like this connection was a connection to get you to move forward and i know it's so hard for you guys to you know let go of things but i'm not saying you guys won't be together but this connection is just like you guys could have have ro had romance, but I just feel like you have somebody else that's coming in that is super romantic that's going to make you very happy. You know, usually I would read the cards in a certain order, but for this deck, I'm just feeling like you guys are getting ready to kind of come into this place of happiness. And it also is not just with another person, but with yourself. Let me clarify. King of Swords. Grieving. The Four of Swords and Five of Wands. So yeah, your guys' relationship that you guys had, you guys didn't really see things eye to eye with the Five of Wands here on the Page of Cups. There was some immaturity. And you know, I don't have any pentacle energy here, which tells me also that it was lacking stability as far as the commitment um, and the relationship. And there was unnecessary arguing. It's more like what I hear is pick your battles wisely. Choose and pick your battles wisely. Even with the King of Swords, I feel like that too. Um, but I feel like with this, the connection is teaching you to also put yourself first and make more decisions based on what you want. So the purpose of this, like this connection is, you know, what is this connection? I'm sure you guys are thinking about this person there. I do feel like there was love there, but I also feel like you're in the grieving stage. And once you grieve and let go, I feel like this person was perfectly set up for you to learn what you need to learn for the next relationship. And also, if it is a next relationship, it doesn't have to be a new person. It could be this person. It could be this person, meaning if you guys have broken up, there needs to be some rebirth spiritually so that you can come to another place of love, new beginnings. So you can have a new beginning and a new love with an old person. It's just, it doesn't feel the same. However, I just don't, I don't really have much major arcana except for the sun here. So I feel like the message, okay, deck number two, I, I don't want you guys to be mad at me, but this is kind of what I feel. The connection was just here to one, get you to see your power, to walk in your power, to be a leader, to be a visionary, to stand firm in what it is that you feel like you deserve. Because if you're really truly honest with yourself, you will know that this person was holding back as far as how much they could give to you emotionally. Now, the acceptance I feel like is, yes, they love you. They think about you every moment, but the acceptance is also letting it go so that this new love can come into your life because it's gonna make you happy. Also with the Four of Swords here, this is the card of grieving grieving the loss. I don't feel like you've really grieved this person's loss. Um, and you might be questioning, you know, why am I so connected to this person? Because as long as you're holding on to it, the connection will feel strong. It will feel very strong. As long as you hold on to it, as long as you dwell it, as long as you resist letting this person go, you're going to realize that the connection is going to get stronger because you're kind of feeling the fire. So yes, there was obviously all arguments, altercations, immaturity, um, but I feel like the sun card around all of this grieving and letting go is where your happiness is. 
So part of your healing process too is, you know, still having unconditional love for them um, and also having unconditional love for yourself to kind of, you know, be honest with yourself about this connection. Yes, it was great. However, there were still some unfulfillment desire, unfulfilled desires that you've had with this person. So this connection, I don't even feel like it is um, a twin flame connection. I feel like possibly it could be just because of the healing. And you guys, I feel like you guys have been through a lot together. You guys have might have been on and off, on and off. And um, this is creating like this type of push and pull, push and pull. But I highly doubt that as far as it being a twin flame, it could potentially be a soulmate. And I only say that because soulmates are brought to us to learn lessons. And I feel like there is lessons to learn here in this situation. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I, I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what the message is. So what the hell was this connection for? Eternal now. All right. 12. Also 12. I always see 12, 12. If you guys start seeing 12, 12 or see 12, 12, I highly encourage you guys to look it up, but it is basically letting you know that your guys are with you and it's okay. Like you're safe. You're safe to let go. You're safe to not fear the unknown as far as what's going to happen after, after this situation. So eternal now, dear one, have your thoughts become chopped in the pain of the past? Have they been drifting towards possible futures? If too much of your energy is pulled away from the present moment, you diminish the power you have to create what your heart desires. Yes. So basically you guys, this, this is a relationship and this is a hard one. I'm not, I'm not saying to cut, you know, let it go overnight. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some healing, some acceptance, some understanding, um, some reassurance and confirmation of, on how this person feels about you. Creation doesn't happen in the past or in the future. It happens in the here and now by the choices you make in every moment. Even now in reading this message, you are choosing to be present, to bring energy into eternal now stimulating the law of attraction into action as you relax in this moment trusting that the past is over and the future shall be truly wonderful you can more easily energize your dreams visions and, and heartfelt desires like i said <laughs> like i said yes this is confirmation i feel great about this message because this is on point with letting this new romance come in and even romance for yourself you know loving yourself the universe believes that you are deserving of a spiritual gift. To accept the gift in whatever form it takes, you will need to be present, to have enough stillness of mind to recognize it. You'll need to have enough inner peace, inner peace, dang, that's crazy, to accept it, to accept it. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Whew, this is crazy. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. To take it inside where it can nourish, inspire, and heal you. Wow, heal you. That's insane. Okay. The form of this gift will be perfect for you, and the way that it comes shall be perfect too. It is being orchestrated by divine timing now. It will assist you to take the next step on your soul journey successfully. Your gift might be a piece of guidance, an inner knowledge that changes your outlook permanently. It might help you truly know in your heart that your divine destiny is already unfolding and your spiritual success is inevitable. Stillness of mind and inner peace are only possible when you are present in the eternal now. And I think that has a lot to do with uh, acceptance. So for those of you uh, who did choose this deck, this is just a little message that you can say to yourself. I give myself permission to be free from past pain and future worry. There's so much goodness and so many gifts for me now. I choose to dwell in the peace of this moment where all is unfolding according to a secret divine protection and perfection. So that was beautiful. Yeah, so you know, it's gonna take time. If you guys chose deck number two, I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys feel about this new Oracle deck that I'm choosing as far as a Lightworker Oracle and messages for this connection. Um, until then, let's move on to deck three. Okay, if you chose deck number three, this is your message. Uh, before I get started, don't forget to check out my description box if you're interested in becoming a Patreon or a personal reading or learning tarot. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you guys can receive notifications when I post and go live. All right, so let's see what the hell this connection is about. Deck number three, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. 
passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And then we have this card. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship will magically transform. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting is if this is somebody new, new as far as like less than six months, then this person may be pretending as if they don't have feelings for you. However, I feel like you guys might have exchanged some words as far as high standards are concerned. Um, with criticizing one another basically it's like you questioning whether or not this person can make you happy them questioning whether or not you guys can be in a relationship because you guys do have passion but one of you guys is questioning whether or not this can be an actual committed relationship so we're gonna see exactly what this connection was i can already tell you that there is chemistry there is passion and out of all the decks so far that i've chosen i feel like this is more of like a new person for most of you guys if not if this is an old person they're still lurking they're still like uh, not telling you how they feel still watching your social media they still have a lot of passion towards you however it's not working out because you guys aren't really giving each other the benefit of the doubt so in a, in a sense it's like you guys are looking at this relationship or uh, connection as like an ego form like what does this person do what does this person not do and not seeing it from a place of love and acceptance and I feel like this relationship if you guys did break up and it's longer than six months this relationship this relationship can certainly move forward uh, it's just basically putting your guys' egos aside putting your guys' sword down and just loving each other that's kind of what I get for for deck number three all right let's see what these messages have the devil yeah I definitely knew that this, this is for some of you guys, this is definitely, definitely a new connection. Okay, so the reason why I'm laughing with the devil, um, devil is Capricorn energy, so you could be a Capricorn or dealing with one, don't have to be. This secret admirer, this person that you've met, um, I feel like is a lustful situation. So there is passion there, but again, you have a right to question whether or not this can be a, a committed relationship. So somebody might not be taking it seriously, or you think that the other person is not taking it seriously. Um, you guys could have met like on a dating app. You guys could have met at a club. Um, you could have met at a party with your friends if this person is new. And if you have, um, I do think that they have deeper feelings for you. And I feel like at first it wasn't something serious. You guys were kind of on a mutual understanding of being intimate, but then someone got attached and grew deeper feelings for, for one another. So this connection is like, uh, I would say from what I'm getting, like a lustful connection at the start. But again, it could develop. And I only say that because the sun card is here. Um, the sun card also is like this person, even though it's not anything serious, if it's new, I do feel like they did bring you happiness and they do bring you happiness. You guys might be feel like kids again. You might be going to adventure parks or the movies or just having fun going out with friends and things like that. But again, that's not anything of like an in-depth type of uh, connection. It's more of like chemistry, passion, and uh, more of a physical attraction. Now, if this is somebody that you are, another situation is you met this person, but you're still heartbroken over someone that you uh, currently left or they left you. And I feel like also this could be hindering you from moving forward if this is a new connection. Now on the reversal end, as far as you guys being together and breaking up, if this is a long-term situation, there is heartbreak, but this person, you're not ready to let go of this person because they make you happy. And you guys had a lot of fun together. However, somebody might be going through some lessons here. Let's see, let's clarify. Yeah, justice is here. Judgment. And the eight of wands okay you guys might have um, stopped talking this person that you were in a long-term relationship you guys might have stopped talking in that or started talking less and that created some type of hurt and pain and heartbreak but I just feel like you guys were just so much in your ego like just you know like criticizing each other saying things you didn't really mean no one was really speaking up on how they truly felt I feel like this could be a deep connection as far as a soulmate 
And I say that because the judgment card is here and the justice card is here and the devil and the sun. This is definitely a much more deeper, complicated situation. So if you're having problems letting go of this person, I'm telling you it's because you guys have a more spiritual connection. And um, this is for you guys if you actually both, both, if this is someone new or someone old, you guys have a way deeper connection than you think. Both of you guys may have thought it was just something like, oh, okay, this is playful, it's not as serious. This is a deep connection. Um, out of all the decks I've read, I haven't got to four yet, obviously, but out of the three that I've done, this is more of like a deeper connection. Now, the judgment card is usually like, you know, at the end of the major arcana before completion, it's some type of spiritual journey that has to be um, gone through. So this person connection is to get you to kind of go through your judgment zone of rekindling a relationship with your spirituality, coming back to a more spiritual type of uh lifestyle basically this person has kind of got you off course you guys kind of got off course with your passion like your purpose and like what you guys really wanted to do this person became a distraction and for a reason to get you to come back to your spiritual place which you're um avoiding uh your spirit guides god whatever you believe in is basically saying hey like this is for the purpose of you to come back to this place of spirituality and you're resisting it this person it's almost like they came in your life to redirect you back to your spirit and the way that they did that was through this type of devil energy of um you know it could be manip ah, i don't want to say that i mean there could have been manipulation and control in the relationship um but again i feel like that was because it was directed towards getting you to a place of spirituality and judgment um, and you see like it's in the reverse. We have butterflies. There's a transformation. You have yet to go through your transformation or could possibly be going through it. This person was an indicator and sent there specifically to get you back to a place. So yes, there is cut off communication because it became a codependent relationship. The devil card is codependency, substances, partying, lust, like, you know, mental enslavement. However, there is justice in the situation. And I feel like with this connection, it's the justice is with yourself. And I know I get it. We all were like, oh yeah, love yourself. Right. I've heard it enough times, but this is a much more deeper connection with yourself. Now you guys have been through a lot together and the secret admirer it's, I feel like maybe they're just not telling you how they truly feel. They're feeling this connection as well. And that's why they're still lurking and they're still considering themselves a secret admirer. But this person uh, was specifically assigned to you to, um, you know, you, you guys had some good times. I'm not saying you guys didn't, uh, but that was the problem. It was like a distraction, a distraction from your, your calling, a much higher calling. And the justice is basically with rekindling the relationship with yourself. And then also like loving each other, can, loving this person unconditionally. They were just doing uh, what they were meant to do in your life. And that was to get you to come to this place of judgment. And I'm going to read this. I feel, I already feel it. Like, I don't know what this card is, but I could certainly feel that this is going to be the message for you. Like, this is why you're here. And this is why you've met the person in the connection, because this card is basically going to empower and guide you as to the purpose of this connection. So cut off communication or commission or communication slowed down. Um, there was happiness, but I feel like it, it, it drifted you away from yourself, like the things that you wanted to do. And this is like a lesson of teaching you to put yourself first and not let other people's happiness or whatever, whoever this person is, what they wanted all the time, you're learning to now put yourself first and transform. And now we also have the, with the justice butterflies too. So you're, you guys are going through a transformation for sure. If this is a new person less than six months, which don't forget to comment down below. Cause I really want to know that if this is a person that is less than six months, you guys are not going, you guys still have a lot more to go through. Um, they might have like ghosted you. This is like ghosting energy. Um, but I feel like it's because Wow, deck three, you guys have a lot of messages. Okay. I basically feel like it was because they were afraid of this connection. Uh, but there's still more to learn here if it's six months. 
just learn the lesson so that you can move on. Don't resist it uh, because this person is not going to be like a long time person if you just met them less than six months ago. This won't be like a long term committed relationship. Also with the three of swords in reverse, this is self love. You know, putting yourself first. I feel like this person did put you down a lot. You guys put each other down a lot. Um, so there is some healing that needs to take place. But the the purpose of this connection and the this type of connection is for you coming to this place of um, judgment. This could be more of a karmic lesson is what I'm feeling. Devil, justice, three of swords. This is certainly a karmic lesson. All right, let's see what your card is dark angel 30 all right let's see what this card's about a dark mystery is one that helps us learn that even if things don't seem to be working out according to the timing or the methods that we believe necessary the light and love of spirit are unfailing just to prove you know just to give you guys a little it is like i said the judgment card is here and that is inner guidance and inner light. If a door is closed in your face, it is the wrong door for you. Divine love will ensure that the right door opens at the right time. When you encounter darkness, how you respond can make either the dark or the light victor victorious. You can choose doubt and fear, or you can force the darkness to serve the light by choosing trust and faith, which is the judgment card, trust and faith. You are spiritually advanced enough to trust unconditionally. That is the trust that burns bright, not only when things appear good, but even when your mind thinks things seem to be healing in the wrong direction. Does unconditional trust mean that you give up if things get tough, assuming it not to be? Of course not. Relying on unconditional trust and understanding the dark mystery, you are willing to go through periods of not knowing. You are willing to continue on your path, even when you are not seeing immediate results, because in your heart, you know it's right. This type of trust is powerful enough to release any separation between you and the universe. You know that even when the universe guides you into challenging territories, you shall benefit, grow in divine power, and become the amazing being you are destined to be. As we realize how we've grown through experience, turning what was once a source of pain into spiritual light, we masterfully transform our deepest pain into our greatest growth and spiritual accomplishments. Wow. Yeah, this is certainly a karmic cycle or a lesson. So if this is the deck that you chose, this is something that you can say to yourself to kind of uh, break free from the situation. I call upon the wisdom of unconditional love that I may be empowered to see the true light within everything and everyone, including that which holds the outward appearance of darkness. I honor the truth that darkness serves as a purpose and I treat it always as an opportunity to strengthen the light. So, you know, with the devil card and the darkness card, you see how dark this card is, but basically it's like with this, I honor the truth that darkness serves, you know, without the dark, there is no light and vice versa. It's alchemy. It works together, yin and yang. And so this is just, you know, getting you to see like this darkness. And that's why I said, you guys have certainly been through a lot with this person. If you guys were in a relationship and it is a karmic situation. So to set yourself free from it. Um, there is going to be some acceptance that, that needs to kind of be brought out to light as well. But with this card, it's like dark angel, you know, the dark is still an angel. Like you can still transform and, and transition this situation. So yeah, deck three, if you chose this love and light to you, um, I'm interested in seeing uh, how this resonates with you. But in the meantime, stay strong, have the courage and, you know, take your time with the situation. All right, let's get on to deck number four. Okay, if you chose deck number four, this is your reading. Also, check out my description box if you guys do want to become a Patreon, support me monthly, book a personal reading, or even learn tarot, you can find that in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can receive notifications when I post new videos and I go live. Okay, let's see what the hell this connection is about. What is this connection about? Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. When it comes to the matter of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And then we have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. 
So already I feel like you guys have some history or you guys might have just met and you're questioning why you feel so deep for this person. Also, I feel like this could be like a past love. You guys might have been together in the past is what I'm getting to. Also, I feel like if there is a lesson here for this connection, it is freedom um, to basically understand that you have the choice and the free will to choose whether to be with this person or to move on from this person. Uh, but there is definitely love here. Uh, my love is as deep as the ocean. I mean, we know that the ocean is extremely deep. So basically the depths of their heart, they feel this undying love for, for you. And basically when it comes to the matter of the heart, there's no right or wrong. So basically there is no choice. There is no wrong choice. So with the freedom, you have the path. There is no wrong choice. But I feel like someone might be a little scared of just how much this person loves you or you love them. They might be afraid of that. It could be you loving them. Um, so you may feel this way about this person. Uh, but I feel like you might be questioning whether or not you should stay with this person because the connection keeps you there, but your mind um, kind of just, you know, dwells on whether or not I'm, ma I'm making the right choice to be with this person, which is why when it comes to the matter of the heart, there is no right or wrong. So it is not a logical decision that you can make because this connection is that strong. All right, let's see what we have here. The most pinnacles I've had all day as far as the decks are concerned. All right, you guys probably did have an investment with this person. You guys could have had a house together, um, could have had a business together. Uh, we're definitely in a relationship. I don't feel like this is someone that you just met less than six months ago. And I also feel like if you did meet someone less than six months ago, they are still in love with their ex. That's kind of what I'm getting. And I say that because... Um, there's, they have love here, but as far as the connection is concerned, there's not much uh, of, a, of an emotional attachment here. With the Nine of Pentacles, things may be moving slow with this person or have moved slow. Also with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like this person could be holding on to someone or you could be holding on to someone in the past. And then the seven of pinnacles, I feel like if, if this is someone that you broke up with, this connection is kind of making you question whether or not your investment did not turn out. And it's also requiring patience. So this connection is teaching you patience. Um, and I also feel like this person could be holding on to someone from the past or you could be holding on to someone from the past. However, I don't feel like this is new. Let me clarify. Justice card ace of pinnacles jeez i've never seen so many pinnacles okay yeah someone's dwelling over how much effort and how much time how much love they put into a relationship and they feel like they didn't get exactly what it was and they're questioning why mm. let's see what 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 is this connection wow this is a complicated connection i can tell you already who Okay. Well, there is love there, but I feel like this can also be a lesson of karmic because we have the justice here and it is in the upright. You could be a Libra. You don't have to be, but with the justice card here, I feel like, I feel like you just, with this connection, you just didn't get everything that you wanted from it. You invested and you didn't really get much out of it. And so now you're questioning what the purpose of it was. But I feel like, okay, yeah. All right, so there's there's some lessons here. One lesson is basically you invest too much in other people and not enough in yourself. This connection is here to basically teach you how to put yourself first, how to speak up for yourself, and also to look out for yourself. Like whoever this person is, you gave too much to them. You gave too much into the relationship as far as the commitment was concerned, as far as like financially, investments, emotionally, you were just giving a lot to this relationship. And I feel like this is teaching you a lesson to walk away and choose a path. There is so much love that you have for this person and it's just like, 
you know? I feel like it's just because of the lesson. Hmm. I'm actually gonna get my deck and clarify because this, this is a very interesting connection. All right, let's clarify what the, what is the purpose of this connection? As far as like, what is this connection about? Because you have love for this person, but it's like, why? Hermit, we have Virgo energy, Capricorn energy. It's a lot of stability though. That's what I'm saying. Like with this earth card, you guys definitely were in a committed relationship, but I feel like you, this is teaching you a lesson. This is a karmic relationship with this person. And it makes no sense. Like how you can have so much love for somebody that really doesn't put in much effort. And they're just kind of like a taker. Whoever this person was, I feel like they seen you as an investment. Um, and so basically with the hermit card here and just clarifying, it is a smoke screen. It is a smoke screen and I don't feel like it's gonna go anywhere, but this is a lesson, a lesson of walking away, a lesson of being free from the situation. And also if they didn't see you as a, when I say they see you as a financial investment, it's not necessarily like money. It's more of like stability, like having a place to stay or you know providing a vehicle or um, something of a materialistic type of situation they felt like you could help them with. Um, and also with this connection, it is a lesson. It is certainly a lesson. And it's it's to get you prepared for the future, obviously. Uh, but it is a smokescreen. When I have the Justice and the Devil card here and the Hermit card, this is basically telling me that this lesson was to get you to put yourself first and to also invest in yourself, to have patience with yourself. You might have jumped into this relationship a little too soon, but I feel like now you might be coming out of this. You might have met this person too in a vulnerable place and they might have taken advantage of it just a little bit. Um, now I feel like getting back to this love, this, this must be you as far as when it comes to the matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. This is the type of love you have for them. That's what I'm getting here look deep within your heart you love them you were basically willing to do anything um you could for this person but i feel like again this was a lesson of not just putting yourself first investing in yourself having patience with yourself uh, but also you know i feel like you kind of give people the benefit of the doubt too often and when you do that basically people take advantage now i'm not saying this person is bad they took advantage of you in any type of sense but i don't feel like they were looking for much much of a long-term commitment they're kind of just going with the flow so you have this deep love for this person and you don't know why it's because it's a karmic lesson you tend to love people and give people the benefit of the doubt if someone comes up to you and they're like oh yeah i want you, that guy like you like that guy like i want you to meet this guy or whatever and uh, someone else says oh wow like no he's bad he's bad or you like this girl and they're like no she's this she's that you give people the benefit of the doubt. And you're like, well, I'm going to give them a chance because you have this heart of gold. Like you have unconditional love. You have the gift of unconditional love. And so anyone who comes your way, you just kind of get attached with this unconditional love. And this is a lesson to yes, love, but making you leaving them does not mean, or you left them or whatever does not mean that you don't love them. I feel like this person cares about you and loves you, but I don't feel like it's the same as far as like you. And so this is teaching you a lesson of freedom to put yourself first. Trying to see if I get anything else. Um, if this person walked away, it, it was because they were going to walk away. And it's also just a lesson of letting this person go. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the hell the, the message is. Life path. Oh, this is a definitely a lesson. All right, 20 is all, you know, a number of completion. It's usually meaning like a completion of some sort and a cycle. All right, so life path means you are in spiritual training for a divine mission that serves your soul development and spiritual growth while simultaneously helping others. 
It will help you express your spiritual purpose this lifetime. So basically, whatever you've done for this person is connected to your purpose. That was also part of the connection. At times, your training may be aligned with studying or applying your skills in ways that seem more obviously aligned with a spiritual path. At other times, your spiritual training may be disguised in ordinary life circumstances, such as this. If you are unsure of what you are meant to be learning of exactly how you are in spiritual training at the moment, look to the situations in your life that are causing you the most struggle. This is where you will find your training taking place. So love and balance, which is also why justice is here. Having balance of unconditionally loving that person, but also unconditionally loving yourself. The struggle is a place where holding on is competing with letting go. It is, however, nothing to be ashamed of, a growth edge where you are doing the inner work of growing into more peace, trust, and love is a sign that you are certainly growing. It is uncomfortable, isn't it? Sometimes it might cause fatigue or even a feeling of defeat, yet you shall not give up. You shall continue and in time shall triumph with a feeling of peace, resolution, and wisdom. If you are feeling stuck, which is why this card is here, making a choice, choices, 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 if you are feeling stuck, perhaps you're working on a significant issue or challenge that won't seem to resolve itself no matter how much effort you apply, then you're being guided to ask for help from a spiritual team using the invocation below. I'll read that once I'm done with this message. So call upon your own higher self and soul to take over all aspects of the issue. Be patient. Do not resist what is, but neither collapse into it. Use your spiritual practice. For example, meditation, journaling, dance, music, art, yoga, time in nature to strengthen you as you move through this training. So you may be questioning why is it that everybody love walks away, right? And this particular connection may have been a little bit more um, intense and that is because they're perfectly assigned and connected to your life path of you realizing these lessons so that you can move forward on your life path. Okay, so basically this oracle is also confirmation that a vision of your path on earth is being shared with you, whether in small dreams, big dreams at night, in meditation, or simply in the feedback you receive repeatedly from different sources. You are being asked to trust in what you see, sense, and feel about your vision for your life path and divine purpose. Even if it is not clear, or even if you are not clear, trust that it is coming to you with loving divine timing. Be open-minded and listen for what makes your heart sing. So... If you are struggling with this deck number four, this is your invocation. I call upon the wise and unconditionally loving ones to assist me now in perceiving, living, and manifesting my truest and most joyful life path and divine purpose. Help me know what I need to know, when I need to know it, and with everything else, may I be assisted to feel peace, trust, and patience as my beautiful life path unfolds, guided by the loving hand of the universe. May unconditional love reach into the hearts of all living beings, helping every creature to find true fulfillment of their destiny. So be it. So yes, you have a heart of gold. And unfortunately, this person is here for you to continue to be yourself. Don't change the love that you have for people. And because you're afraid that everyone's going to leave or treat you wrongly. But this person is certainly attached and uh, sent for a purpose of karmic cycles which is why I have to clarify because this is a very interesting, complicated situation. But now it makes sense because it is way different than what meets the eye. It's not a logical type of connection. This is more of a spiritual um, type of interesting connection and commitment that you guys have here. So if you did choose deck number four, love and light to you, um, take your time with this situation. Just be a little bit more aware of how things are playing out with this person. And don't forget to comment down below if you chose this deck. I'm interested in seeing how the hell you guys are going to let go or move on from this person or even allow this person to still stay there because you have unconditional love for them. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading. I will see you guys in the next pick a card reading.